right here, 119.42. They'll need to take the lead. They'll skate to Romeo and Juliet. Well, every team in this last group knew they had to go clean. What great Natalia para skating we have witnessed here. The final event on the Junior Grand Prix. We're gonna have some exciting pair events coming up in the seniors over the next few years with these teams. So much experience gained. You never know, partnerships may change and whatnot, but you've got a good group of young para skaters so highly skilled already and fierce competitors. Not wanting to give an inch to their colleagues, making sure they skate clean. Now this team needs to win this event. 120.87, the personal best. They're gonna need 119.42 to take the title and take the ticket to Osaka. 
Let's take a look. Here's some of the elements. There's the twist. No split on that. And that is in at a level three, so missing one feature. This was Triple Lutz's in the a warm up. And the Triple Lutz here. Euler Triple Salka. Wow, I thought it was a double. It wasn't. Here's the throw Triple Flip. There it is, right on top. Nice. 0.91 GOE plus. Here's a look at the Group 5 axle lift. A little slow going up. Got stuck, but then got moving. Position maybe a little bit. Needs a little bit of work on that with that left leg. Push that out, turn the toe out. I'm being real picky here. And here's the throw, or here's the triple loop side by side. No problem. So they have the individual solo weapons as well as the throws as witnessed here with the throw triple loop. Beautifully on top. Great speed on the landing. And then the death scene at the end of Romeo and Juliet, followed by a fist pump. <laughs> they were thrilled. And so they should be. 119.42 is the magic score. Can they beat that? If they do, they're on their way to Osaka. And it comes down to this moment for them, this score. <laughs> there it is, 124.61 season's best, their first, 188.84, overjoyed in the kiss and cry, mission accomplished, you gotta love this sport.